So the first one is just a, a pretty great question to start off time travel, which is, uh, uh, it's coming from Facebook, from a guy named Sean Carp on Facebook. Sean Carp. Okay. Sean Carp. And the question starts, what is time? Really nice intro. <laughs> it continues, what is time? In a Although so he's not satisfied with just He's not the satisfied. Air. This is not, a, you'll see, there's a paragraph here, so he's not satisfied with anything. Oh, okay, let's go. So, what is time? And he says, in A Sound of Thunder by Ray Bradbury, he speaks of time as a linear thing which can be altered. However, in Star Trek, the 2009, he points out Star Trek, time is also linear, but can be diverted into parallel streams like a river or a highway. The Doctor refers to time like this. People assume Excuse that me, Doctor as in Doctor Who. I show doc, the doc, I, Doctor I, Who, I, yeah. I'm yeah. assuming, yeah. I'm assuming, yeah. unless it's just his own personal position <laughs> launching into... <laughs> <laughs> into the metaphysics of time. Let me tell you about time first, you know, uh, in the middle of a proctology exam. Let me, let's talk about time for a second. The doctor refers to time like this. People assume that time is a strict progression of cause to effect, but actually, from a non-linear, non-subjective viewpoint, it's more like a big ball of wibbly, wobbly, timey, wimey stuff. And he says, are any of these explanations more true, are none even close, other thoughts? Well, okay, excellent, and a beautiful reference there with three sources of science fiction, yeah. including the late Ray Bradbury. That's right. Uh, in yeah. fact, uh, so so time. Uh, all we can tell you of time is how we measure it and what consequences different phenomena and uh, uh, behavior of the universe have upon it. So here we are, sort of progressing through time, second after second, and we're prisoners of the present. Mm -hmm forever moving between the past and the future. That's how we think of it. However, if I set you into motion the very clearly identified and well-tested laws of relativity tell you that I can slow down or speed up your time relative to other things around you. So, time in that sense is not linear. It can be stretched or shrunk relative to other things that are around it. And not only that, in the vicinity of supermassive black holes that distort the fabric of space and, and time mm -hmm. because the fabric of the universe is not just what it does structurally to the space it's the fabric of what the time is doing as well so imagine two black holes ready to collide that's an awesome disturbance in the fabric of space-time. And so black hole, a black hole is an area where there, the light, it, the, the energy in it is traveling faster than the speed of light? Well, no, so once you fall into a black hole, you never come out, not even if you are a beam of light. So, gotcha. so that's why it's black, and that's why we sensibly call it a hole. So if you think of like a beam of light struggling to get out of a drain, it's not even getting out. It's not even getting out, therefore it's black. Gotcha. And so the consequence of this, it's, it's not just simply that the light can't get out, space curves back upon itself so that the light is trying to get out, but there is no pathway for it to occupy. And that is a severe curvature of space and time. Uh -huh. And so of these three definitions here, as represented in science fiction, I'd have to go with the Doctor right. in the series Doctor Who. Uh, Doctor is right, wib Wiggly, wobbly, wimey. Yeah, not, wibbly, wi wobbly, <laughs> timey, <laughs> wimey stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's... it's uh, Now, about whether time can split, we simply don't know. Huh. Is there some other universe where you are left-handed and not right-handed that split at some point in your... I mean, I, we just don't know. Right. We just got our... We have a hard enough time trying to understand our one universe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Much less rivers that might flow from it. People have that. I think that people have that fantasy of, oh, if I had another life, I would do this. And if I had another life... And they're hoping that that life is actually going on right somewhere, now. Somewhere, yeah. In another universe. So, so I go with the Doctor Who on that. Doctor one. Who. And w 